All right, we're going to call the facilities committee to order at 602 and um, call of the roll. So we have Ron Score, Randy Procknow, and Ann Vogel, and we're missing Barbara Lyon and Larry Bjork. Um, so we have quorum. I'm guessing we don't have any public comment. All right, so this is our special meeting to consider um, transfer station rezoning because we realized it's zoned as general agricultural, right? General agriculture, and the permitted uses may not be um, what we want this to be used for, correct? And maybe it would make the property so that the people who buy it don't have to rezone it if we rezone it ahead of time. All right, so did you want to say what, Ann? Yeah, so uh, after the meeting, the last meeting, there was a lot of discussion about when we we would do bids and we were going to look at what people wanted to use it for. And I think ju we just, the committee determined to just do a, an open bid, but I, I caught that there was uh, some certain uses that you would have preferred to be <laughs> it to be used for. And, and so I went and looked at the, the permitted uses for general ag. Um, and I don't know that they really aligned with what uh, we felt that that parcel could be used for with it being covered in concrete with a couple of buildings on it and, and some of the, uh, some of the people who had reached out of, with interest, uh, also their uses would not align with with the current zoning. So, uh, so I talked to the zoning administrator, and she kind of agreed uh, that that those uses wouldn't be there, and that the property may be more. Uh, you may you may have more bidders if you had that property already set up to be more more usable for the, for the public. So um, before we kind of went forward with that process and and putting it up for bid, we wanted to ask the committee's uh, thoughts on whether you feel we should go through the process of going through a, a rezone for that parcel prior to putting it up for bid, um, or or we can just say, no, <laughs> and, and we can go forward and put it on the bid and and the future landowner can go through that process on their on their own. Um, but wanted to kind of hurry up through that process. So I handed you a few pieces of paper and one of them is the rezoning process for the town of Menominee, which this property is in. Um, so that process would kind of starts in the zoning office here. Um, does go to the town board for um, their call it blessing. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. Yep, the planning commission first. So, so there's a bunch. There's a bunch of steps. Uh, I assume probably maybe three to four months to actually go for go from uh, start to finish on that process. Um, so, wanted to bring that to you as we had uh, the, the determination out of the last meeting is let's get this up for bid and get this taken care of and delaying it by a few months to do this is uh, gonna slow that down. Well, I guess that's our first decision is whether to rezone or not. Can we rezone without the town board? No, I mean, should we go through the process? To rezone it before we put it oh. out for sale. So that's our first decision. Or do we want this done as quickly as possible? Should have this you on, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, can we can't re so we do have to start with the town board first then. Go through the plan commission and all the steps. So okay. that's why it would take an extra three to four months okay, okay. if we want to rezone it before we sell it. Boy, that makes it a little interesting. Right. <laughs> so if we uh, 
just uh, don't have it rezoned and let them deal with it a, bit, a lot faster, you're saying? Right, because we could just put it up for bid as general agriculture. And then they would probably have to rezone it. And the sale will be contingent on a rezone, so. I mean, 99.9% .9 of okay. the chances. Um, I, so it really falls in the department of the township, but um, and how fast they could. It's been used commercial for basically, you know, well, exam, but commercial, right? No, it's been, I mean, because. It, it is a, it is a permitted um except it is it is a it is a permitted principal use for government uses oh. such as town halls gar garages solid waste transfer stations and recycling collection centers hmm, cool. you can do that in ga <laughs> so rezoning it would make the property more appealing to more bidders right if it's commercial or Probably industrial because light industrial. Oh, do we have anything in light industrial though out in townships? But the commercials are more like maybe red cedar edges of it, but yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was gonna say I don't think it's gonna go light industrial. I don't know what commercial what they are allowed to do in commercial versus light industrial, but um And then the township could say no, too. My understanding is the town see that and make recommendations to which I'm getting a no from over here, but uh, um, I know what it is. We can, yeah. Can we? You you have to recognize them, but if you want to come up to yeah. You're on both committees. You might as well have some input here. Um, for a special exception, the town just gives advice. For a rezone, uh, the town has the ability to veto it. Is that is that what you're going to say? No, I'm. Oh, okay. So that's the way it works. Um, yeah. So uh, it would go to the plan commission as far as timing goes, and then you, you contact the person, and they set up a meeting whenever needed, uh, and then it would go to the Town board, which is the second Tuesday of the month. I, I can't remember for sure. Mm -hmm. So they'd be in August, maybe, if they could get the plan commission first. And then go to the PRD in August, possibly. And then September for the county board. So, yeah, September at the earliest. But yeah, as far as far as zoning goes, yeah, the town has can say no. The towns have a plan of kind of uses, I'm guessing. Yes, the town of Menominee has a future land use plan. Yep. So do we delay this? <laughs> or leave it up to the. I would say we should start with the township and see if they if they have the power to rezone that. I think we'd have to start there before we go any farther. Um, because if they don't approve it, I'm sure whoever buys it is not gonna. The general egg. Right. <laughs> Not what the use is listed here. No, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Yeah, as I look at it, there's really one permitted use in GA, and that is storage sheds that could be used on that property. So, But not many warehouses. So, 
No, that's under. That, that'd be under commercial. I mean, it, warehousing, yeah. Whoever's going to want that's going to have to have it rezoned. So it's going to be contingent, I'm sure, anybody that wants to buy it, contingent upon that. So I would say start the process going through the town board or the planning committee first and at least see if we could, if they would be willing to go like commercial or something on it or. I would say that'd be my first start. I agree with Supervisor Proctor. What he's saying, Just let the township have a have their say, and then and then it might take a few months, but at least we're going right in the right channels. Um, so I I agree that we should start the rezoning process. Do we have to make a motion or? Mm, yep. <laughs> I move we uh, start the process of rezoning going through the township process um, to get it officially rezoned to could I say commercial or? I don't know the specific process, but I, I guess I would. I, I don't know if I get to make recommendations, but I would say don't recommend one okay, and just I'm not and, and then we would defer to the uh to either to the town or to the zoning administrator okay. of what they think the best one is can we do that just leave it open <laughs> or do we have to okay I, I think as long as the committee here is okay with a zone that is better suited right. <laughs> we can figure out what that is okay so moved. second uh yeah second all right so any further discussion well uh they do have a comprehension map you know this so they might have something already down in paper right so, so what zoning would i would tell you that's likely r1 and and then and then this committee would if, if that's the way the town goes we come back to the committee and have another discussion because so, we wouldn't want our one because that would not be a an acceptable use probably um that's for sure so so we would need to go in with a suggestion i'm guessing i mean because we want to rezone to something and then they would say yes or no. Okay. Um, all right. So all in favor? Aye. Aye. No one else to oppose it. So all right, it passes unanimously. So um, so the next steps will you two will contact zoning and start the process. Okay. Yep. Because I think, didn't I see in here that the storage was it under light industrial or am I thinking of something else? It's, it's like a weird spot for it. But there are some weird spots for stuff, yes. <laughs> um, but I can't remember. All right. So, um, Is that like rest and nursing homes. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, so there is. No other consideration of reports. Our next meeting is August 13th. August 14th at 6 p.m. in the same room. Oh, yeah. I, I, unless the three of us can make the decision to switch it to a Monday. <laughs> or should we go with what we've got? And then we can decide on the 14th. Hey, we got a quorum. <laughs> 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 I think the 14th was decided because yeah, right. of schedules and room availability. Right. Yeah, we'll stick to that one. All right. And then we'll decide at the next one. <laughs> yeah, I think that's All right. better. So then we can adjourn. All right. Thank you for coming in. Jim makes hands now.
and he still won't.